Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we're going to put together our Tyranid Psychophage. This is actually surprisingly easy to put together. I'm pleased about some of the uh, larger models in this GW set. Very simple to put together. Came together quite quickly. Very happy with it. So, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I got my instructions out. They're in my baking sheet which contains all the mess that I'm going to be making. I got the base, and it's pretty easy to tell. It's the one base that'll fit this beast. It is a large monster, but shouldn't be too many pieces here. So, we're going to get our frame here. We're going to get our uh, sprue cutters here. We're going to take the flat edge tight to the model. So many pieces to this model. There we go. Now it's coming free. Alright, so we're going to take K1. We're going to lay it in K1 spot. Put the base in its spot there. And we're going to go around the rest of this frame, trimming it out, and putting on its corresponded number piece. Alright, so I have all the pieces cut out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our X-Acto blade. We're going to go around and cut all the little blemishes from where we separated the model from the sprue. This uh, becomes especially necessary on taller models just because the lines are going to be so much more noticeable on a giant piece like this. So I'll take the Sharp end of the blade, just kind of just pull back on the nubbins and the mold lines, dragging it out. And when that's all fine and dandy, we take our metal file. We're going to remove some of these mold lines here. set that right back down and we're going to go around clean up the rest of these pieces so the pieces are all cleaned up and now for the part everyone's been waiting for let's start assembly now this straight off the bat this tongue worries me so all right let's start with its right torso so there's one pin here Not Okay, so they're there, close up. Okay, so this little divot here, that pin there. Okay, eh, not too bad. Alright, that worked out. Worked out, okay. So, that was the part that was concerning me, so let me take these. There's three pins here. It's gonna line up on. All right, let me get my glue out. All right. I'm gonna follow this all the way around. I'm not gonna actually put it in the pins. I'm just going around the edge. I want to kind of squish out a little bit so that it'll that the um, plastic glue will kind of fill in the gap. Right around there. Okay, so there, slowly, slowly, slowly. Ah, that did it. Hmm. 
Now I'm looking at it. Let's squeeze this a little bit tighter. I'm trying to get that seam to go away. Looks like I missed a little section here around the head. Let's try to smooth out that plate. It'll be really noticeable when I paint it later. Oh, a giant mouth. Alright, it's coming together really nicely. And smooth, uh, yeah, while that glue is sitting in that gap, I'm going to run a file over this part. And, uh, dust from cleaning it and push into that seam. That's the uh, hope. And then the glue, just trim that off. That way I don't have, it's something I do to prevent from having to green stuff it. Okay. Now let's start moving on to these legs. Big one in the back. That looks right. Alright. One big dollop. Dollop two. Let's go dot three. Make sure those legs are going in all the way. Since I know it's got to kind of fit down on here. Is supposed to go. Make sure that these are riding flush. All right. So that's the advantage of plastic glue is this will maintain a little bit of uh, pliability, which will be helpful when I come around and start doing the final fit on the legs. So oh, that's because that one goes up. That's wrong. Okay, so we'll try to find what angle it wants to be at. That's the angle that middle arm wants to be at. Alright, let's try pushing this one in. So. Okay, so. Gonna go right here. Oh, I got this backwards. Okay, so this one here, this one here, this one here. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and juice these up. Not there, that wasn't a plate. All right, so let's start with the front leg. Writing this one down, come on. Okay, this middle leg. The little ones always worry me. I think they're gonna snap. No snappy. Alright, so let this one 
Little leg actually has tip cut off. Like that worked out. Worked out. Squeeze. There we go. Not as big a problem as I thought it was going to be. Right, let's put the cap on the glue, make sure we got everything here. Looking good. I'm very pleased how that came together. Excellent. Well, I'm pleased as punch. Alright, well, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.